Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello and welcome to another tour of a Mission Thrift Store, this time in St. Thomas by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Generous parking area, well signed, just off the main commercial strip. Just a slight overview of the building there. And here we are, we are looking for a Hawaiian shirt, but there weren't any. We tried a couple of different aisles just in case they got placed in a different part of the store. And then we get into the hard goods. Uh, Westwood Avenue scoured those. The glassware. And we continued on to see what other interesting hard goods they had here. The purses weren't, there weren't uh, any brand names that I could see offhand. I'm not an expert on it, but some names stick out really well. The uh, volunteer was fixing up the shoes there. And here we are, we're coming along and we see a nice selection of hats and lo and behold I find something I found a Biltmore yes it's a heritage collection which means it would be a reproduction but it's made by Biltmore and Biltmore had manufacturing in if I remember right in Guelph <clears throat> they had gotten revived at one point I didn't follow whether or not they survived the revival. And they had their linens and fabrics laid out in a different way from the other stores. I like this way, to be honest. And then they've got CDs and DVDs and so on. The china sets that we come across in these thrift stores is... Well, what can I say? Somebody spent a, an awful lot of money to buy them and then they end up being given away by, I suspect, family members who just don't want it. Some of them are very nice and they just, they just end up there. Then they've got great display for their uh, jewelry and costume jewelry. They're in the central glass case area. And then they've got their auction cabinet showcase here. They included a uh, hockey sweater. I'm not big on hockey, so I can't tell you exactly which one. It had a specific number. I think it was 01 for Edmonton Oilers. Not the uh, Wayne Gretzky one. Considering that the day before I'd picked up a cover for a singer, I was, and it looked very much like that one. Don't remember the price offhand. I think it might have been like $75 there. Other furniture, and then <clears throat> the vintage electronics. Some of it not so vintage, but take a look at this Commodore calculator. 
That's an old one. Some older digital cameras, other electronics. And then you've got some of the sporting goods stuff here. Small appliances. Yes, even snowshoes were up on. I think they're just for display. I don't, I'm not so sure they want to sell those. And toys. We get into the toys. They're in the center section there. And we wander back into the furniture area. Took a different aisle this time. And a sewing machine has its lid leaning onto this very vintage bandsaw. The wheels on it that the rotate the blade are wooden. The platter where you do your cutting is wood with steel plate on top of that. Um, quite the vintage item. And it was on for $99 and 50% off, so you, it could have been had for 50 bucks. Uh, it was, I didn't have room or a place to take care of that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tour of, uh, of uh, Mission Thrift. Hopefully you'll consider subscribing and giving us a like. Be greatly appreciated possibly even throw in a bell so you get notified of our next posted video and yeah. <laughs>